I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm West, and I'm here today with Sin Young from Lamora Beauty. And today we're coming to you from Pine Cove, California, population 770. And today we want to share with you a routine that we normally do before bedtime before we're getting ready at the end of a night. But right now we just finished a hike and we're feeling a little bit tired. So we might take a nap and we figured this would be a good time to share this routine with you. So the goal of this type of routine is number one, to connect with your partner and number two, to help them relax and really try to get a deep night sleep and a nap just by really helping them relax and feel connected and safe. So we're gonna start today. I generally like to start the routine with a little bit of gentle touch. And we'll usually start at the top of the face here and just sort of work our way down. So I usually like to check in in the beginning with just a single eyebrow. And what you're doing here is you're signaling to your partner that it's time to relax. It's time to let go of stress. And you really just want to be touching as gently as you can. Maybe a one or a two out of 10. And then you might do the other eyebrow. You can send some love and some relaxation. And then I generally like to move into a little acupressure. And I like to start up here with the temporal muscle. And I know for Sin Young, everybody's a little bit different, but Sin Young carries a lot of pressure in her temporal and in her masseter. So you want to make sure you're targeting wherever your partner needs it that day. And you need to be gentle here. We might start the pressure at a two or a three and slowly work our way up to maybe a five or a six. And you can move around a little bit, kind of pay attention to how the body reacts. If it's tight, if it's giving you extra resistance, maybe spend a little bit extra time there. Give it a little more pressure. And you can make sure you do the other side. Sometimes you can use your opposite hand and keep the head steady as you're applying pressure into it. So your partner doesn't have to move and they can really just relax and let the pressure gently open, open whatever knots you're trying to let go. You can do one side at a time, or sometimes you can do both sides at the same time. And you're gently working up with the pressure, making sure you're responding to the body. If they've stopped breathing because they're so tense, you probably should back off a little bit. I know Sin Young likes a good amount of pressure. And soften that a little bit. And then as we work our way down, I know for Sin Young, she doesn't like her cheeks rubbed. 
but she does like if you come under the cheekbone and you gently press up kind of into that cheekbone you might be surprised tend to carry a lot of tension there. So you just want to slowly work your way across the hip, the cheekbone there. And just feel it out where it's giving you a little extra resistance. And then do the other side. And so your partner should always be telling you if they're not enjoying a certain part of the routine and you can modify it. Like instead of rubbing, you can do these gentle press and pulls. And that's one of the great things about doing this with a loved one at home, is that you can really personalize it so that every routine is a greatest hits album and it's just what your partner likes. And we might come over and do a little bit more on the other side just to make sure it's softened. And as we work our way down now, we're gonna do a little bit of the masseter. So this is kind of the jawbone. You use that a lot when you're chewing. And I know a lot of people, definitely Sin Young included, carry a lot of tension here. So you just need to kind of feel around. You don't want to be doing it on the jaw bone itself or the jaw line all the way down here. That usually doesn't feel very good either. So you want to kind of root around until you find the big kind of knotted, muscly feeling masseter muscle. And that's really what you want to work. And you can work it back and forth. And we generally just use our fingertips here. If you want to do a little more pressure, being mindful of the giver's hands, you can switch to a knuckle. And instead of using a fingertip, you can use the knuckle. And you want to be careful here. You want to be gentle, slowly increasing the pressure over time. Letting the body relax into it. Sometimes applying a slight rotation with your knuckle as you get a little bit deeper. And then after we come out of the knuckle, we might want to do a little bit more thumb. And so you can see here, this is probably where you might use a little bit harder pressure than you would use on the upper face, the temporal or anywhere like that because these are a little bit bigger of a muscle group and they can really carry a lot of tension. Making sure your partner's breathing, giving some breaks from not just constantly pressing in harder and harder, but softening for a moment or a breath or two, and then going back and working it a little bit more. And 
and then we'll do the other side. Same thing. And once you get in tuned with your partner's body, you can find really that you can see with your fingertips and without even really looking at that partner's side of the face, you can feel exactly where the big knotted muscles are and where you need to give a little bit more pressure. And this is also a routine we like to do before bed because I know many people like Sin Young sometimes struggle with teeth grinding or cre teeth chomping at night. Subconsciously when you're asleep, you can see them sort of har, har. and that's not good for your teeth and it's always helps to soften those masseter muscles so that they're not way too tight as you drift off to sleep. And you might change the grip a little bit and use two fingers instead of your knuckle. Or one finger. And sometimes if you want a really deep targeted pressure, you might use something like a gua sha tool. And that'll save you as the giver. It will make it so you don't use as much pressure on your fingertips when you're giving. And it lets you get really targeted. On the muscles that you're trying to hit. And if you are using maybe a six or a seven or an eight on the pressure with your fingers. Or your knuckles on the masseter, let's say. Then with the gua sha tool, you probably only need a four, maybe a five in terms of pressure. Because a little really goes a long way. Ooh, and you can feel it sometimes. The muscle will just relax and soften and you can feel the body relaxing. And sometimes you can get in rhythm with your partner's breathing. And you can wait for the exhale before you try to go just a little bit deeper whichever knot or muscle you're trying to soften. And it's usually a good sign if you see your partner's body start to twitch or let go of some nervous energy usually means they're getting closer to the dream world. Their body's letting go of some of that tension and energy. And now we'll go between the eyes and put your hand kind of upside down and hook in a little bit, just a little bit. 
and gently pull up. Letting your partner soften. And then we might come down to the sides of the nose. And here we're being very gentle. Maybe a one or a two. Then we might come down to the side of the lips, of the top of the lips, and just very softly press, signaling to the lip to relax. And then you might do just one right in the middle. And if you're feeling fancy, you can try to find where the top little lip gets to the bottom of its curl. And you can gently pull up back towards the cheeks. And then we might finish with some thumb on the chin, letting the mouth slack open, gently pressing down. And then we might give one final gentle touch up on the eyebrows, back where it all started, and signal to your partner that they can relax, and they are safe. and they can sleep.